Hey guys, here we are back on Wind Chaser. Um, just um, getting our combines ready to roll. on the right course here. Running uh, three combines on course play. In this uh, <coughs> field of canola. And then uh, we'll be tag teaming <coughs> soybeans as well. I'm going to go ahead and load this one. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to load up to get. Turn on our hazards and our beacons. start to hunt down our combines so running three combines just to speed up the process rented uh, two combines three headers using the one combine I own um, it's a little bit foggy this morning but we're trying to get a jump start on our sixth season of harvest uh, we picked up a lot of acres this last um, harvest picked up 2934 um, so we uh, more than doubled our initial uh, our initial acreage that we started out with so I'll just set it up to shuttle control here and we'll start with the front runner and work our way back some of the distractions so <clears throat> so I went with the case IH 45 foot draper um, just because it's the biggest, uh, it's bigger than the 640, and it has a uh, the travel gear as part of the draper, so I don't have to tra uh, trailer the drapers to move from field to field or transport from the uh, dealer to the field, so that's why we went with the case drapers. And the, the same combines, they all have the same capacity, same unloading capacity, same header for the same working width. Um, not that you need to do that, you can just adjust the offset a little bit. 
if you're running a smaller, uh, if you're running different size headers, you can um, adjust your working width and your offsets of your combines respectively, and it should work out just fine. So, you, but uh, this is just easier. It's just less uh, math that you need to do and uh, calculations. So. You offset the two outside and then the middle combine just runs the course. So uh, the middle combine is combining a course like it's all three of these combined and then you offset the other two depending on what direction you want it to be. And uh, works pretty well. So we're just using our speed match on our drive control. Let's run it in manual for a little bit. <clears throat> so even with three combines, it takes a while to uh, fill up a truck. just because this is a low yielding crop, but it was the only crop since we put down herbicide A that actually would uh, benefit from using herb, herb, herb A versus uh, wheat and barley like I wanted to plant. Um, I actually can't use herbicide A, so kind of regretted <coughs> putting down herbicide A before I decided to look and see what I should plant. But uh, this is just kind of like chillax, chill job on grain cart, even with three combines. So we had a great demand of soybeans and just a couple hours ago around 7 o'clock so went ahead and took care of that uh, so our, uh, our uh, grain tanks are completely dry. We have a pretty hefty little uh, bank account right now so we don't have to take out any loans like we did last last season. We had to take out about 50000 um, to cover seed and herbicide and rent rentals just to finish up our last bit of um, spring and tillage so
So now that they're done with the headlands, let's start uh, uh, covering some serious ground fast. So I'm going to fill this one up to uh, Take care of this combine and then So pretty, uh, <clears throat> pretty easy job on grain cart and canola. Now corn. I wonder if I can run three. I'll probably run two, two combines with sixteen foot. I have two twelve rows right now. I could probably run two. We just didn't plant very much corn this uh, this year because uh, we unloaded basically two million liters an hour, and our price is pretty much zero. Um, but that was like a week, five, six days ago. So, and it takes about a solid month for that kind of quantity to be negated or like work its way back down to baseline. So, so we got our first truck of canola in. up on our next combine. Getting a little off track here.
GPS will make my life easier. I've got speed control. GPS for steering. So you can see the kind of uh, acreage we're making per per pass. Uh, with three 45 foot drapers, but there's a little bit of overlap. I think I have the uh, working width overall set at 30, 39, so just a meter wider than our DB190 can plant. So then this combine will take the, a tight turn here and we'll be able to pick it pick it up coming back. So. really set it up to be like So I'll probably unload this last uh, Kinsey and then uh, quit the video there. And then I'll probably show some soybean and more tillage and corn. But uh, it's pretty nice running three combines on course play. You know, they space it out enough so they don't run into each other on turns. And, you know, that way uh, you might get a little bit messy on the corners on your headlands, but nothing you can't touch up.
so let's just say this quick thanks for watching